<laughs> Binding up. <laughs> Leave him and his wife out of this. <laughs> his cheeks are getting rosy. The low game. I was a maverick. Oh, cut that. So, what's the intro? Are you ready? I mean, you're nervous. Usually I am. Ingles is nervous. I, I mean, I just don't know what we're doing. Well, we're in the hallway. Okay, yeah. Can you hear that? There's a really strong AC current right here. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you. We got a great show for you guys tonight. Lots of special stuff in store, but first, let me introduce you to some very special, my co-host, my creative partner, my best friend, Angles Parade! Um, do we, do we switch? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. All right, you got it? Yeah, good. Hold on. Yep. Is your mic on? Hey. Is it, is it on? Hello? Okay. okay. Sounds good. Wait, wait. Okay. Perfect. Like, like it's kind of really, like, is it grunge? It's like a messy look. Okay, do I look good then? Perfect. Yes. Okay, alright. Are you going to say action? I'll say action. Okay. Action! Okay. <laughs> alright everyone, we got a great show for you guys tonight. Who's ready for some? Oh, they're feeling a little loco tonight. They're crazy. <laughs> they're crazy, especially you in the red shirt in the front. Yes. You? Yep. Get, so get him out. Security. Out? Are you drunk? First person kicked out. Mm, actually, they're not drunk out. enough because that's the first thing we're going to do. Some drinks. Hey. Whoa. Hey. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> On today's uh, occasion, I'm going to make you a classic Cuba Libre, or Cuba how we like Libre. to call it. A rum and coke. <laughs> My favorite. How would you know? Ah, uh, you know. Years of drinking together. Allegedly. 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 <laughs> Allegedly drinking together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't drink. For the legal team. For the legal team? What legal team? <laughs> it's us. It's just you and me in a room full of cameras. And the audience is right oh, behind the, the cameras. Right, right. Yeah. I, if I see them and you see them, then they're, they're there. They're there. They're here. <laughs> yeah, we're not crazy. Okay. Right. Anyway, I gotta get more on the walls, don't I? I mean, it's a little bare. You've started. Well, uh, you could uh, donate to our Patreon. <laughs> Just kidding. We have a Patreon. <laughs> we wouldn't ever ask you for money unless it was, you know, meaningful. Yeah. Unlike the topic of our show today. What is it, Ryan? What's the topic? For the audience, I have no clue what we're about to do. I'm standing. Standing He's standing. Here. All right, shows the way. Sorry to uh, cross into your oh, you're section. You're coming into my set. Whoa! What Whoa. is this? We're both in the same frame. This is wild. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I forgot mine. Just Coke, right? There's nothing. Yeah, else just in Coke. There. There's nothing just else Coke. in there. Just Coke. There's nothing else in this drink. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Do I do I come back over? Oh oh no. oh wait oh, oh it's, it's coming into the crossover episode crossover episode. Oh. Hey hey hey. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, so just a quick 15 seconds of context here. I'm actually gonna throw it over to the channel more Pegasus because he's really good at explaining these controversies. If you missed the last video, they were having these crybaby meltdowns after Dan TDM called them out for the new product Lunchly, which is some ultra processed food that they're trying to sell to kids. Pretty much they made a bunch of tweets crying about the whole situation and even made new videos on their channels. Now, a lot of other big YouTubers on the platform were quick to show their support for Dan TDM, the guy from the tweets who called out Lunchly. And this has created what I've heard termed as the YouTube civil war, but now you're up to speed. Let's get back to it. We have a new segment. Oh, everybody there's... hold on to your belts or your or your pants, uh, your pants, or if you're not wearing pants, your, your underwear. Hold on to whatever you got. Hold on tight because uh, why don't you take a look in that uh, fridge over there? Whoa, oh, and this fridge, that one. That's the one. Uh, Tell me what you see. I see strawberries. Oh, those aren't those aren't for you. I see guacamole. Not not and not that. I see lunchables. Oh whoa! Okay. Is that what's in there? Did I do that? Extra cheesy pizza and ham and American. So your task here today okay. is to make me something interesting. I think with lunchables, I think their main thing is like a. Like build something. Build something, okay. So like a buildable. There we go. So I can you, build something. You can make something cool. Okay, I'm going back over to my set. Yeah, go away. 
go away. Also, uh, our lawyers do want us to say, our lawyers, they're in my ear right now, and they, yes. they want us to say that we do make these comments uh, of our own free persons. We are not representing on behalf of anyone. Uh, exactly. Just our silly little selves making a silly little video. Just Ryan and Angles being Ryan and Angles. What's your favorite Capri Sun, Ryan? That's a fantastic question, actually. I don't know. <laughs> you could go with a Pacific Cooler. Yeah? Oh. Oh. Hey! Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, God. Who, who's the old one? I'm going down. Oh, I'm going down. He's being dramatic. It's okay. He's fine. Legal <laughs> wants me to say that I actually am fine. I'm fine. Yeah, we have yeah. medical on standby. We have medical on standby. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is a very easy thing that you should be able to do. You know? Yeah. Oh, take accountability. Move on. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Now uh, let's see if he does that. Uh, <laughs> why do I feel like he's not? You in labor? No. No. It's any second now. What happened to YouTubers, man? I cannot say anything anymore. <laughs> this is selling stuff for the sake of making money. <laughs> How does this benefit their lives? <laughs> like, let me put this in the context. Imagine being a mother. Who's angry that we made this? Crackers, bro. You mad because we made crackers? So, so you start your poly video let's with just, a. Let's just pause it right there. <laughs> a product We're not even lineup. A minute in. <laughs> like, he's done everything wrong. Yeah. It's like the boxes that you need to check for yeah. like the poly video to just like clear the controversy. Because, <laughs> like, he goes straight to attacking, like, this mother. <laughs> like, what? How do you feel about creator and their brands? Like, what's what's the line? Where do you say it's okay? Where is it not okay? As a very socially native person. Okay, listen, here's the thing. Creators, it's a lot of pressure when you get big. If you start hiring people, you start building out teams, you've got, like, entire livelihoods that you're supporting. If you stop, everything stops, the money stops. So creators, they're creating these brands to try and get that pressure off them, make something else, like, earns the income to support their teams. When it comes to lunch league, mm -hmm. okay? Here's where it's different. Okay. You get held to a different standard than a corporation. Because the corporation's very clear, they're here to make money, they're a business. But when it comes to an influencer brand, there's a different level of, of trust and relationship there. Mm -hmm. That like, if it seems like you're selling it just for profit or like to, to make money off your audience and like not actually deliver anything valuable than like the competitor in the space, yeah. why are you doing it? Exactly. And I think that's the issue here. Okay. Uh, and it's, it's crazy that they don't see that or like start with that. Yeah, because he's like, oh, you're upset that we're making crackers when the statement is not really about that. It's, it's kind of like the why. Why are they doing this? Okay, I like that. And that's something that you and I have talked a lot about even before we even started the channel. Yeah. Why would we make merch? What would that merch be? Oh, -ho. and we have we have a few things up our sleeves. We do. <laughs> hey. Coming soon. <laughs> yeah. Where was the same energy when Ryan Trahan really sweet? Hey, that is true. I don't remember anyone having a problem with Ryan or Rug when they released their candy. It's just funny how that works. People just hate us. And I've come to realize now in my adult life that hate really is just a feeling of one's own inadequacy. You're dissatisfied with your life. You're unhappy. You're angry because your wife left you or you, you suck. You might as well go hate on a cracker stack. Everybody hates us. Like, um, you were leaning into it as well. Like, you, they, he knows what he's doing. So, like, if anything, you feed off of this anger. Oh, interesting that you say that. That's, that's there's more coming. Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> also, you know, why does nobody ra hate Ryan Trahan? Because he's un unhateable. Like, he's America's why is sweetheart. Ryan catching <laughs> yeah. strays from Logan Paul. Listen, leave him and his wife out of this. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> Ryan and Haley, we love you. Yeah. Where was the hate for his his product? His claim was that it's healthier. Yeah. Because it is. Because it is, and literally it majorly is. is. Like 50% less sugar or whatever it is. Like if you're going to say something, have the proof. You know, be right. um, yeah. Okay. The proof is in the pudding. Exactly. Well, my dad, well, we have this saying in Venezuela, actually. Go. Oh, well. <laughs> On camera, I've had a few of these offline. Yeah, so the donkey's hairs are gray because I have them in my hand. Okay? Los pelos del burro son gris porque los tengo en la mano. That means that I know what I'm saying because I'm holding the proof in my hand. And those are words that I live by. It's like, I will not say something that I cannot back. <laughs> Cut to me saying something I can't. <laughs> anyway, anyway, that's enough, enough of the angles. Enough of this, corner. okay, back to the right. Without even trying the meal, just seeing a headline, it is met with hate, resistance, disgust. You don't know anything about this product. And the people that think they know about it still don't know about it. I went to war with Community Notes the other day. X's regulatory body of truth, but they lie. The whole system is littered with lies. You know, for a second, he got me when he was like, oh, we were met with disgust, with hate, without them even trying our product, which sure, Fair, so for a second maybe I thought there was gonna be like a nicer tone applied to it, but then he does exactly what he says that he's being done. 
like to mm -hmm. the fans that are not his fans. These contributors, mm -hmm. they're out to get me. They're out to do all these things. They're all blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. so it's like, why do like it's just such whiplash? Like mm -hmm. that's what I'm getting from this video. I don't know what to think because it's like boom, boom, yeah. boom. Anyway, good or bad, <laughs> any press is good press, right? So they maybe do say that. they do say that. They do. They do be saying that. I don't know if I completely agree with it, <laughs> but like. Is that what we feel like he's doing? He knows that maybe he's playing a, like a losing battle. Okay, I can't go with like the truth because maybe I don't have it. Mm. I can't go with the numbers because I don't have it. Mm. So all I can do is maybe agitate my fan base. Mm. Perhaps that can like get me somewhere. Right. That's what it, that's what this video is screaming to me. Interesting. Check it out. There we go. And actually, let's take a step back. Let's take a step back and look at the whole fucking situation. <laughs> These motherfuckers are complaining about a lunchbox. These motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm complaining about a lunch kit. That's what this whole thing is about. Yeah, they are. A lunch kit. There's way more crazier things happening in this world. But people want to go in on this lunch kit. kit. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. What? My pregnant fiance is not having it. <laughs> Look, she's bouncing on a ball right it's now. Not if you go into labor, just let me know. Okay, I'll keep you posted. To keep me posted. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll give him something. Okay. <laughs> He is true to himself, not the fiance bouncing on a ball. Yeah. <laughs> like, is it, she's the first shot of mm -hmm. the whole thing. Yeah. Then brings her back in. Does that, is he trying to humanize himself? Like, hey, I'm a father. Mm -hmm. You know, does yeah. that have to do anything? Yeah, it could work. That, that, there we go. That makes sense. You want airheads? Here, have an appetizer. You ready? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's winding up. Oh, wow. Oh, that nice. wasn't bad. It's a white mystery flavor. Okay. Uh, let me try and guess it. Although I'm not very good at this, but I'll give it a go. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Look at that. It's Delicious. like a tongue. All right, here we go. Let's see what flavor this is. It's watermelon. Watermelon? Watermelon. It's kind of like a blue raspberry as well. It might be blue raspberry. Okay. But it's very similar watermelon vibes. Glad we got that out of the way. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm a little busy building a culinary masterpiece. Oh, good. We can make a better product that people can also afford. Oh, that's oh yeah, that's the other thing. It's around four bucks. It's a great value. It just is. I don't understand why all of a sudden it's a bad thing to have a business. <laughs> Real quick, the mm. Lunchables that you have, those were two for six at Jewel, but. Thank you. That was, I they was were loaded. on sale, but. They were on sale, two for six? I think they were four, but three ninety nine. But remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take your time. No, it's the We're audience. We're rolling like a good bite per like minute. <laughs> this is not about the better product. This is about the internet trolls that are attacking Logan and KSI. That's the only thing that's going wrong. In, in their eyes, yeah. In there, exactly. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm getting. They're like, product is fine, everything's fine, but you guys are being mean for no reason. You guys are being big don't babies. Like us. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what they're saying. Crazy thing to say to your audience. Who's like supported you and like given you everything. Yeah, <laughs> you're so right. <laughs> like if, if we ever said that to our audience, cancel us, you know? Yeah, honestly. <laughs> okay, that makes that brings me to an interesting question. Like okay. how much does a creator owe what they have to their audience? Uh, it has to be everything. Mm -hmm. That's that's the difference. Okay. It's like you're supposed to care. Yeah. And the, the title I have written down for this video, Logan Paul and KSI are officially out of touch. Mmm. Out of touch. Because now they're businessmen. They're businessmen. They're, are, they're trying. They don't like appreciate it for how, what, how much it did for them. Which what is insane to me. How do you build an empire? How do you like completely sustain a livelihood on something? And then the second that you can, you <laughs> sh on it. Right. Like what? Like, and, and that's the issue I particularly have with this video is like, when I was growing up, 2018, here's some Ryan Lar for you. I was a member of the Low Gang. The Low Gang? I <laughs> was a Maverick. And, okay. And this, this is why it hits particularly home, this exact point. What drew you what to Logan at the beginning? Was, I was a, 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 a bit of an introvert <laughs> okay. as a kid. I looked to Logan Paul in a lot of ways. Did but, he show you like a more confident version of, of yourself? Of course. Yeah, you know, he was, he was loud and he was confident. He was always the center of the room. To, to a certain degree, it, that's what everyone who wants to be a creator wants to do. Exactly, that's we what want, we want to do. Yeah, we want to make fun videos with our friends. <laughs> we don't want to smash plates or like be obnoxious. But, like, no, we just want to <laughs> like eat Lunchables and, <laughs> and drink Capri Suns, bro. We're already doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the numbers just come with it. <laughs> yeah. We'll be doing the same thing. I'm just happy to be here. Mm. That's how I look at it. The fact that I can wake up and like make a living through editing, through shooting, through making something, I'm just happy to do that, you know? 
Obviously, there's a lot that comes with that, but like, if we forget about that, like, gratitude towards like the craft at least, mm -hmm. that's when I think you lose who you are, which might be what's happening here. Yeah, that's why I'm so like upset and disappointed over this video because like I was a supporter. Yeah, and and he's just lost his way, and it's so. So you've you've seen him fall out of grace. I've seen him fall from grace, and and there's a lot of YouTubers doing that right now, and that's why we're in the YouTube civil war, and I think that's why it's time for some. Some young, hot, creative, culturally sexy, diverse, culturally <laughs> diverse together. You and I together. as a unit, we are culturally diverse. creators to show them the way of yep. new YouTube and, and to emerge phoenixes from the ash of the civil war. And, and honestly, if not us, someone else, Ryan Trahan, our king, our king, our king, <laughs> Ryan, come, come and join us here. Have some lunchables. With you anyway. I know you like fun drinks. We can have a couple various drinks. Yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, like, I just want to say, like, about us, like, I'm obsessed with this platform. I know this platform, like, back of my hand. I've been here for a long time. All these people are asking us, like, about these TV shows that are going on, like, the newest current, like, millennial obsession. Mm -hmm. I know nothing. Love, Love Island? What? Well done. Like, I'm so far down the hole on YouTube that I watch body cam videos. You do. You do do that. I do that. I'm about to run out of content. I'm squeezing this platform. How, how many hours of YouTube do you watch a week? Let's not put it into numbers, all right? <laughs> it's better if I don't know myself. <laughs> I just hate to see us enter this era where like YouTubers are, are falling from grace and ruining the name of, of what it means to be YouTuber. Cause like now people don't even want to call themselves that or like- That's true. So now there's a weird stigma with it. Cause they think of the big ones. They don't think of the cool ones. You just think of the loudest ones. The loudest. Hmm. <laughs> the ones that are angry. <laughs> the ones that are feeling inadequate. <laughs> Anyway, we can get back to the video. <laughs> I'm so used to this shit. In fact, I get paid for this shit. I literally make a living off of people not liking me. And I have to be honest with you, it's fantastic. I can get an exact reaction out of you that I want. Bro, that is the best feeling in the world. And so like other people, oh, he got ratioed, he got... Bro, social media is not real life. That isn't real life. I'll tell you what real life is. When you can make 15,000 people boo you because you do this. So we were on the money. <laughs> he literally is trying to get through our head that he makes money off of us hating him. That is his official stance, his official apology to us, his audience, for the backlash. Yeah, it's like, guess what? You being upset is making me cash right He's now. He's like, you guys, like, being angry about this? Cha-ching. Cha-ching. Cha-ching, baby. Yeah. That's what he's saying. We tried, as a collective, to get rid of Logan Paul. Mm -hmm. he, he made his way back, it was fine. Crypto zoo. Kind of got swept on the radar. People don't understand what crypto is. Yeah. Lots of money lost. This is like another one I may or may not be calling for the cancellation of Logan Paul after this. Oh! As, as Gen Z spokesperson, <laughs> I think we can all agree that this might be, this might be time. It might be the final hour here. Well, because it's not the first, second, or third time that he's proved that he no. doesn't care about the people who like have made him who he is. It's like, fool me once, shame on you. Shame on me. Fooled me twice, shame on you, right? Fool me no. thrice. Back to him. I don't know. Fool me thrice. Remove him from the platform. <laughs> and let's forget about it. Uh, fool me thrice. <laughs> remove him like lice. Oh! Oh! <laughs> anyway. Stick your belly in the screen. Like, just your belly. That's crazy. The low gang is growing, man! I'm, I'm glad that he's proud to be a father. <laughs> is this his That's first? three mentions now. Here's what I'll say. Okay. As a family man myself, not that I have family, I would like to have one one day. With anyone? Are you, are you thinking of anyone when you say that? Maybe. Oh? Cut, cut that. No. <laughs> I'm keeping that in. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, you, can, you can continue this one. Okay. <laughs> Look no. at him, his cheeks are getting rosy. I see. <laughs> you know, as the, Ang the, the Angles gang grows, the, the Perez gang. Um, I hope that once, you know, we get to whatever level we get or like whatever, like I want to keep my family as much as I can in the spotlight without like putting too much on them. But because mm -hmm. I'm not ashamed of them, I want to celebrate them. I want to like them mm -hmm. to be a part of me. I don't know if this is the moment that I would bring my pregnant wife into this conversation. It's particularly because if this is about hate... I don't want that hate anywhere near my unborn child. Mm. Now, obviously, I'm gonna remove that for a second and I'm gonna like 
props to him for including and like celebrating his wife. I don't know if this was the, the spot. I do feel like it's very specific though, because he starts the video with that. You know, so like, mm -hmm. yeah. I, th there's something there that is definitely sitting like a little weird with me. Yeah, it's just a, it's an interesting choice. Because ultimately he's not saying anything. That's the other part. Mm -hmm. I think he reacts to a reaction, so he mm -hmm. doesn't have to make a statement. That, that checks out. That's, yeah, that's good. Thank you. Thank you. That makes sense. We've got just about 20 seconds left of this video. Let's, let's wrap it let's right wrap it on up. up. Let's, uh, let's. Enough! Let's call it, that's a wrap. Yeah, Lunch League's had a wild start. I have never seen anything like this. In terms of engagement and impressions, boy, we did it. In terms of sentiment, you know, uh, yeah. But I have a rule. If you're gonna hate on this product, try it first. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like my video. Bye. Now, uh, you're gonna wanna stick around for the final thoughts section. Engels reveals his, his masterpiece to me. I think it's coming over. I can see my profile vision, uh, a figure moving my way. Uh, once he gets in the frame, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll uh, move my eyeballs. <laughs> oh, where, where is the thing? The frame's over. What yep, happened? The frame is like this. It, it, am, right here. am I in the frame? Yeah, the frame, you're not in the frame. Yeah, no. The frame here. How's my frame, frame though? Frame, it's fantastic. <laughs> All right. What you got for me? All right, so what we had was a pizza, pizza. and a ham and, and American cheese. Mm. Oh. <laughs> 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 all right. <laughs> so, I combined the best of all worlds. And then I added a cookie, because uh, you deserve a cookie, brother. Yeah, thank you, brother. Yeah, a a thank little, you, brother. Of course. Always here for that. There you go. Well, give it a go. <laughs> um, num, 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 num. <laughs> wow, that was really good. Cheers, cheers. Come. What? It's like chill. I know I could have built something fun, <laughs> but I went with a simple. I'll be better. Y'all are mad over a, a cracker stacker? <laughs> okay, mm. that's good. That stack. I can get behind. Right, I figured, because I made those and I was like, oh. Final conclusion on this video. If, if, if I were handling this, I would have definitely taken a more human side of it. Like, I would have sort of like looked at the claim and tried to like literally address, like what are they saying that we're doing or we're not doing? Let's address that. He just went around for eight minutes, people coming after him about, honestly, it's like I just saw the video and I, I didn't leave with anything. Mm. It, it just feels a little empty. Mm. So I think he's just sort of making a fluff piece that will rile people up. Mm that will sort of like, oh, you know this controversy? Mm. You know, he literally said it. It's like, you, it's, it's only a tennis match if you like- Return. If you return. So he's choosing to like make something that feels like he's gonna return, but he's not. Cause the, he knows that if he gets on a, like a one-on-one, -on -one, like, oh, if he tries to disprove the claim, if he tries to like whatever, he probably can't. I don't know exactly yep. how much different a lunch chili is from a lunchable. I don't really care. I do think that if you're gonna come into a, a space for children, you should be a, very conscious of what you're doing. I don't know if I would want my kids to be consuming this. All right. I think that wraps Better it sir. up. <laughs> yes, sir. Cool. Angles and Ryan, out.